Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Justin. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be filming another what I eat in a day to lose weight video. In case there are any new people to my channel, welcome. My name is Justin and I'm currently on a weight loss journey. So far, I have been following the Weight Watchers Freestyle program for almost 11 months now um, and I have lost 72 pounds with it and here on my channel I've just been documenting that entire process so if you would like to stay tuned and keep up with me make sure you hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey so before we get into this video just in case there's anyone here who doesn't know what Weight Watchers is um, I did film another video just talking about what it is how it works how I've been losing weight with it um, so I will put that down below in the description box as well as somewhere up here in the card so make sure you go check that out all right, so here is my breakfast. I pretty much have this like every other day. Um, it works and I don't really like to switch it up very much. Um, but basically just two eggs that I use. Um, I have a link of the Sam's Choice chicken apple sausage. That is what it looks like. And then I do add some fat-free cheddar on top of my eggs. So this is only one smart point for the half a link of sausage. Um, the eggs and the cheese are both zero, but yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be having for lunch. This is the Healthy Choice Cafe Steamers Chicken Fettuccine Alfredo. Um, I don't usually put it in the bowl like this, but uh, I don't know. I decided to be kind of bougie for this video. It's really good. I've been super digging this brand lately because, I don't know, I slept on them for a long time, but their stuff is really good and they're pretty low in points. So this entire thing is six smart points. Um, and then I add some Parmesan cheese to mine. Um, I pretty much add it like as I eat it. So I count this as one point. Um, I don't really measure it honestly, but it takes a lot of this to go up to two points. So I just count it as one. But yeah, the only thing I do to it after I warm it up is I add some salt and pepper. And then I like to cut up the little chicken parts because they kind of come in like long strips. I don't know, I'm one of those people who I like to have a little bit of chicken with every single bite. So um, yeah, that's all I do to it. So yeah, in total, this is seven points, super good, and um, yeah. Okay, so for my snack, I'm gonna have these white cheddar Cheeto puffs. Um, one bag is four smart points, and they're really good. I do get them in this like assorted individual bags at Walmart. Um, 10 come in the bag, and yeah, you can find them just on the chip aisle with everything else, but yeah. Okay guys, so it is now dinner time, and what I'm about to make is something that I made the other day, kind of like something that was done by accident, but it kind of ended up being really, really good. So it was one of those days where, you know, I wanted to make this thing, but I was missing one ingredient so I couldn't make it. And then I was like, oh, well, let me make this. But then I was missing a couple ingredients there and I couldn't make it. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just see what do I have in my fridge that I could throw together and make it taste good. And that's kind of where this meal kind of came about. So what I'm gonna be making is pretty much, I guess you would call it like a meatball marinara with cheese. Um, it's kind of like those meatball marinara sub sandwiches, but just minus the bread. So um, let me go ahead and show you guys the ingredients. It's literally only three ingredients, um, but yeah. So these are the three ingredients that you will need. Um, some meatballs, I use the Great Value Turkey Meatballs. I get this in the frozen aisles um, at Walmart really bomb and then for the cheese i like to use the Velveeta shreds mozzarella also get from walmart and then here this is my marinara sauce so this is something that i actually home make myself in advance um you can go to the store and get your own marinara sauce but you just have to scan it and be careful because most um, if not all um, marinara sauces are points but this marinara sauce is zero points. Um, this is by the Skinny-ish Dish. It's her Crock-Pot marinara sauce. So I will leave the link down below to her recipe um, in the description box. So in case you guys wanna check that out. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take eight of the meatballs and just put them on this plate. I just like to spread it out like this so they can kind of cook in there evenly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on for one minute and then I'm gonna like flip them over and then do 30 seconds. And then while that is going, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out my cheese. So just in case you guys care, this is the food scale that I got. I'm pretty sure I got it from Walmart. So I'm just gonna be using one ounce. Yep, there we go. All right, so now my meatballs are all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my marinara sauce and literally just Put it right on top. 
And this is really more so just for preference. Since it's zero points, this one is kind of like you don't really have to worry about how much you want or how little because it's going to be zero points regardless. So it just depends on your liking. Okay. Now I'm going to put that on for 30 seconds. All right, so I actually did that for 45 seconds. But anyway, all I'm going to do now is just add the cheese on top. And then I'm going to do this for 30 seconds. And voila. So this is what it looks like in the end. Um, you can see like the marinara splattered around, but that doesn't really matter. So um, this entire thing is seven smart points. It is five points for the eight turkey meatballs. Um, like I said, the marinara is zero points. And then for one ounce of the Velveeta shreds, it is two smart points. So yeah, this is a super yummy meal. Let me just show you guys what it looks like and then you know you can kind of dip it in i don't know this is just kind of like a meal that i found out about on accident and it ended up being really really good all right guys so it is now about 11 p.m um, i'm gonna go ahead and have my dessert so i looked and i have five points remaining right now and i'm gonna kind of like concoct up a couple of my favorite dessert snack things and make it into one big old dessert I have um, a fiber one brownie, so I'm going to use this as my base. I'm going to take one of my sugar-free Reese's cups and like break it up and crumble it on top. And then I'm going to take my Reese's whipped cream and dollop that thing up. So this is going to be really good. Um, whenever I did a favorite snacks video on my channel and um, I talked about the fiber one brownies being kind of dry and a lot of people recommended that I start warming them um, and I did try that and it does make a world of difference. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to just put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Alright so I just got this out of the microwave and even though it looks okay I think I'm going to throw this away and start over because I think 30 seconds was too long because I can like smell that burnt chocolate smell and I don't know I don't think it's safe to eat so take two all right so I only did that one for 15 seconds and it came out a lot better so I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap the sugar free Reese's and I mean I could get a knife but I'm gonna just like crumble it on top This is what it looks like. Oh yes, doesn't that look good? All right, then I'm just gonna take my Reese's whipped cream and do a dollop of Daisy. Oh yes. And I have a Bon Appetit treat. So all together, this is four smart points. Um, the fiber one brownie is two, that Reese's cup is one, and then the Reese's whipped cream is one. So all together, this is my four point dessert. Okay, update, because it's my first time eating this. Hella bomb. I will definitely be making this again. So while I'm eating that, let me go ahead and give you guys a breakdown of my app. All right, so I've used 26 out of my 27 points for today. Um, for my breakfast, I just had my usual, my two eggs, chicken apple sausage, and my fat-free cheddar cheese for one point. Then for lunch, I had my healthy choice chicken fettuccine alfredo for six. And then I used a point worth of my Parmesan cheese for seven points total. Then for dinner, of course, my turkey meatballs um, and my Velveeta mozzarella cheese. And then of course my homemade marinara sauce, which is zero points, um, all that for seven. And then for all of my snacks, my Cheeto puffs that I had earlier for four points, and then my whole dessert thing, the fiber one brownie for two, the Reese's whipped cream for one, and the Reese's sugar-free peanut butter cups. So I had already had two of them before, um, before the one that I put on to that little uh, thing for dessert. So all that together is three, which equals to four points. So that's that. All right, you guys, so I just finished that entire thing and 
bomb. That's gonna be like a new favorite of mine. Um, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also let me know down below in the comments what other kind of videos you would like to see on my channel. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on this journey and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.